Hi guys, Gaming Bear here. We're looking at the uh, From Paris with the Love offering of the, uh, the Revelarize, the French Tier 8 Medium. Now we're going to see, is, is this deal worth it? So what you're getting is this fantastic tank, plus a number of, of other specials. So let's see exactly what you get in the package. So Virts tabs, Tank and Rammer, and GLD, Gun Lane Drive. Do you need them? Well, let's have a look. Plus, you get uh, 900 gold, all for £23.42, or else €29.99. Euros. Discounted by 26%, which is nice. So, let's have a look. Is the vehicle actually worth it? So, let's uh, get in and compare it to the Centurion, which everybody knows is, is a pretty neat tier 8. So, you've got to look at how, how it rock and rolls or doesn't. So, see all this red? It's not good. It's really not good at all. <clears throat> but the only good thing is this DPM. DPM 1906. And that's without the uh, gun lane drive and the, uh, the, the enhanced 10% of uh, extra firing you get with the gun rammer to put this up to 2,100-ish damage, which is very nice. DPM, the alpha, is 390. Now, this is what where you're finding the positives of the vehicle. You've got a huge, horrendous 105 mil gun as opposed to uh, the 83 mil gun which you get on the Centurion. This is basically a heavy tank gun like the T-34 but put in a medium turret. This is the equivalent of the Sherman Firefly at tier 8 with a big gun on a pants tank. That's roughly what you're getting with this. So let's look at the rest of it. Aim time, bad. Dispersion, 0.35. I've seen worse, but it's still not good. It doesn't work well. You've got, you've got to wait for so long for this gun to, uh, to to come onto target. On the move, it's more accurate than Centurion, which is, uh, you need it. You really need it. The uh, shell velocity, this is horrendously good. Yeah, 1,460 metres per second, as, as opposed to a just over 1,020 is, uh, is, is pretty good for the Centurion, but 1,460, you fire, it's there. You know, wow. Let's have a look. Okay, moving on. Shell costs actually better, and you get more bang for your buck. So this is going to be, it's a real money maker if you're, um, if you're running it. Top speed, identical. So that's why one of the reasons I compared these two. Reversing, 16, not so good going backwards. Power to weight, 13.25 compared to 16.8. So they're roughly in the same ballpark, but the Centurion's better. This is... Eh. So let's look at the uh, the terrain resistance. Terrain resistance is identical, apart from on soft terrain. Don't take it on soft terrain. You will be in trouble. The Centurion will run rings around you. Gun elevation, 15 degrees. It's okay. Centurion's better. Gun depression is a bit, bit Russian. It's uh, uh, 7 degrees not so hot it's not good at working ridge lines like you would hope so you've got to poke too much show too much of your tank which we'll have a look at in a minute with the uh, with the armor profile gun traverse not good basically it's a big gun on a, on a little tank and it takes a while to rotate traversing the turret itself now th this actually uh, comes pretty good 43.8 degrees nice armor pants absolutely pants the whole 50 38 38 you you're getting a sherman with a big gun on top that's that's it that's all you're getting the uh, turret also pants don't really try you hardly got any chance of bouncing any shots whatsoever health a little bit down on the centurion but you can take a few shots engine and the uh Regenerating the, the health things <clears throat> is, is worse. The Centurion is tougher. And when you have to say that, with all the ammo racks and the Centurion, well, eh. The tr health, this is, is actually quite nice. The tracks and ammo rack are very, very good in comparison. Well, 214, in that, that extra 20 and the extra 40 for the tracks allow you to get out of trouble, allow you to repair, allow you to not actually have the tracks fully b blown off and potentially get uh, get away. So this is a big plus because you've got no armour. You need to make that one single shot count and then get the heck out of dodge, yeah? View range, 390 metres, which is okay. View range, uh, radio range, I mean, 
750, which is adequate, you know? And chance of fire, you are going to get hit. 15%, it's better. The Centurion goes up like a, like a Roman candle. This, no. So now let's look at the uh, 3D model. Big gun, little tank, that's it. Little tank, no armour. If you're being fired up by yourself, you've got some areas where you can get a lucky bounce. Yeah, right. <laughs> you saw 100, 190 mil somewhere. But don't count <clears throat> don't count on any bounces whatsoever. <clears throat> Imagine that every, your tank is made out of paper and with a big gun and a not so good engine. And that's what you get with this. So let's get back and have a look at the uh, the deal on this uh, this tank. So is it is it really worth it? So for the vert stabs, the uh, tank and ram and enhanced GLD plus nine hundred gold for twenty three forty two. I would say if if you're running a French medium crew, you've got better um, you've got better things you can spend your money on. Sadly, it's not a great tank. It can be fun to play, but I've only managed to uh, to get a 47% win rate with it. No one fears it, and that's part of the thing. A tier rate with a big gun, you want people to fear it. Because it's got no armour, a lack of accuracy, people are able to get close, you have to uh, wait, pull out, wait for the gun to settle, take your shot, by which point you've taken three return shots before your gun's even settled. It's not a great tank, it really isn't. But if you're a collector, this is quite a good price. So for a collector, I would say go for it. And if you want something unique and you want to run something like a T-34 without the armour, but then if you want a T-34, go for the armour. Get the T-34. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a no-brainer. Sadly, it doesn't quite hit the mark, literally, in many ways. So the deal... Is it worth it? Sadly, for me, I don't think so. It's it's not. It's it's just not the tank. The deal is good, but the tank isn't. So yeah, the the tank itself needs a buff. It's it's not it's not good enough. It you know, the aiming it it doesn't quite give it. It it there and there are better tanks on offer. So sadly for me, unless you're a collector. It's a, well, it's a no-brainer. It's, it's just a no. So, sadly, poor little thing. Bye-bye. So, here we go. The And it's got a stupid name. Revelerize. Let's go for it. M4A1, because it's a pain in the bum to say. So, the M4A1. Thanks, but no thanks. And I'm the Gaming Bear, and see you on the next one. Cheers, guys.